Down the deep forest of Kokolo, human activity endangers the underground life. The excavation leaves the termites world destitute. Many remaining as homeless wanderers, others bruised, while others are fatally crushed to pieces. The queen survives. In other territories, all is well. The story is violent at the anthill. The workers' ants have immediately assumed a new job. They have to move the queen into the gallery chambers of the hill, lest she dries up from excess heat. Expecting other fatal attacks, soldiers take their charge. Their huge teeth can split a fully grown ant into two pieces, just with one bite. The termite is one of nature's more accomplished builders, erecting the tallest structures on our planet when measured against the size of the builder and maintaining a constant temperature inside despite wide temperature swings outside. This is what the other termites are up to. By now, there is a lot of progress in transporting the queen into safety. She has been turned upside down in order to reduce resistance caused by her legs. With one rhythm, they tore their mother farther in. Termites seem to fully understand the saying, wherever there is a will, there is a way. The queen is told into safety after a determined non-stop two hours of working. They only hope she can recover and be able to make more termites. <laughs>